Hey everyone, Blau Kiakov here, and today we're going over Midian DMX and how to use it with Lumia Stream for the basic. I mentioned basics because Midian DMX is very extensive and there's a whole lot to learn. There's a whole universe out there surrounding Midian DMX. But for our basic needs, we just want to set it up with a free app using QLC Plus and Loop MIDI. And this is going to give you way more options than the smart light industry because there are thousands of brands that make DMX lights. There are a dozen types of DMX that you can choose from as well. This tutorial will be the basis of all of our MIDI and DMX tutorials that are to come. So make sure you check out this one, even though we're only connecting the moving head in this one as the base for our other tutorials. Let's first talk about the hardware that we're going to need to connect Lumia to your DMX device. Now we're going to need a DMX to USB interface, and this is so we can connect USB to the computer to our DMX devices. There are multiple options you can choose from. Intech makes a few. There's also DMX King, but then you have your cheap alternatives like Lixada and various brands you can buy off of Amazon and AliExpress that's simple DMX to USB converters. Obviously, the more you spend, the more quality you're going to get, but pretty much anything should work for a certain amount of time. And our next thing, of course, is our actual DMX device. So I have actually my moving head right here, my U King moving head, and that's what we're going to be setting up today. But I also have a light bar from OPPSK, and then I also have a smoke machine back here as well, which we're going to be using in tutorials that will come soon. Just note that if you use multiple devices, you need to have a DMX cable that connects each one to one universe. So if you have three MIDI devices, you probably want three MIDI cables. Now, of course, when you hook up your DMX device, just make sure you're using the right channel mode as well as the right channels. So if you're using multiple lights, just make sure that the channels are going to match the universe of what you need to match them to. For my moving head, I'm going to be using the 14 channel mode. So that means if I had a next light, it'll be on the 15th channel on my universe. And I'll just select my dip switches to, you know, the number 15. And that's all we're going to need for the physical portions. Make sure all of that is on and hooked up to your computer and we're ready to move on to the softwares. So the first software that we're going to need is Loop MIDI. This is the most important software because it's going to allow Loop MIDI to talk to QLC Plus and various other apps. It's a virtual loopback MIDI cable, and this is only meant for Windows because Mac actually has one built in. So if you're Watch this tutorial on a Mac. You already have a MIDI port that you can open on Mac natively. So just make sure you download that, install it, and then let's open it. Once it's open, just make sure you add your port, which is going to call this loop MIDI port and press the plus button. Now this app should open when Windows starts, but if it does not, make sure it's open before you open QLC plus. That is extremely important. And even Lumia, which is going to close this because it's going to minimize the tray. And now our next app that we're going to need is called QLC Plus by Massimo. This is available on both Windows and Mac, and you're going to need this for either Windows and Mac. But if you're using another light controlling app, then that's fine as well. But since QLC Plus is free and open source, this is the one we're using for this tutorial. So download that and install it as well. And let's open it. Last but not least, of course, is Lumia Stream. Just make sure you download Lumia Stream, set it up, and then you're good to go. So now we're going to be going back and forth between QLC Plus and Lumia Stream. So just make sure both of them are open. And now we're going to start with QLC Plus. So with QLC Plus, we're going to go to the inputs and outputs tab. And over here, we're going to select universe one. You'll see four different universes, just like universe one. And then on the right side, you'll see the mapping. This is what we're going to map the output and input to. So just make sure that you check the box for output as your DMX to USB interface, since I'm using DMX King, you'll see it right here. It says DMX USB. And for my input, I'm going to use the loop MIDI port. Now input means what QLC plus is going to be listening to. So we want to listen to events from Lumia. That's why we're using the loop MIDI port. And now we're going to go to the profile tab. Let's make sure general MIDI is checked. General MIDI just means it's going to match our notes in Lumia stream to the notes that you're going to see in QLC plus. And that's pretty much it on the QLC plus side to get it set up to your DMX controller. Now we're going to move on to Lumia stream. We're going to open up Lumia stream and we're going to go to connections, add new connection, and we're going to type in MIDI. I'm going to select MIDI and then automatically you should see a loop MIDI port show up. Let's make sure we check that and then just make sure your note type is set to C1 G9. You don't want to set the C2 G8 because then it won't match QLC plus. Press next refresh and just make sure it's connected on the dashboard. You should see it show up green here. If you do not, then just make sure you close Lumi and open it back up and then it should auto connect. And now we're back on QLC plus. So now let's bind our fixture, which is our DMX moving head. Let's bind that to QLC plus. We're going to go to fixtures tab and then we're going to press the plus button to add a fixture. I'm going to search for a moving head and I'll see it under my U King brand. 
I got my mini RGBW moving head. Now, if your device doesn't show up here, you're probably gonna have to patch or use a generic type, but that's more than what we're trying to do in this tutorial. So we're just selecting our simple Yuking mini moving head that's already patched within QLC+. We're gonna make sure our mode is on 14 channel. Remember we set our channel mode to 14 instead of nine on the DMX device. And we're gonna make sure it's on universe one and address one. We'll select okay. And now we should be good to go. So to quickly test out this fixture, we're gonna to go to simple desk and then we're gonna make sure grandmasters on 100%. Let's turn shutter up to 100 and then let's just test out red. There we go, green, perfect. Looks like it's working. Now let's just make sure we clear this before we move on. So now we have our fixture set up and we make sure it's working through simple desk. Let's move on to the functions tab. Functions is similar to Lumia Stream Studio. Everything that you set up here is what you're gonna be able to bind to within the virtual console, which we'll get into later. So you have multiple types you can choose from. There are scenes, which is just like a static color or static state for your like pan or tilt. Uh, you also have the chaser, which we're going to use to set up an RGB like reaction or animation uh, within Lumia. You have your sequences and then you have your effects. Effects is what we're going to use to basically rotate the fixture. So first, let's set up a scene. I'm going to call this scene red because we're just going to turn this color to red. We're going to press the plus button to add our fixture and we're going to select our fixture. Now we're going to select the new fixture that we just selected. And now you're going to see checkboxes up here. Everything that has a check is actually going to be changed in this scene. So if we don't want pan and tilt to be changed, we want to make sure that those are not selected, but we're probably going to want shutter RGB and probably W as well, because we want to reset that state. So we're just going to turn red all the way up to 255 as well as shutter. And that should trigger our lights to red as you see in the background right now. So that's our first scene. Let's just copy and paste this, copy and paste it three times because we're gonna do a blue here. We're gonna turn red all the way down and just turn blue all the way up. And then we're also gonna go to this one to change this one to green. Red all the way down, green all the way up. And those are three different scenes. As I click them, you see it changing in the background automatically. Next up, we're gonna create a chaser, just go from red, green, blue. So I'm gonna create a new chaser. I'm gonna call this RGB, and I'm gonna add my functions. So I'm gonna go to red, and I'm gonna make that duration one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. And I'm just gonna add green and blue. So now if I test this chaser out, you should see my lights go red, blue, green, or red, green, blue. Perfect. Now, one more thing I'm gonna set up while I'm here is I'm also gonna have my light rotate. So I'm gonna create a new effect. I'm just gonna call this rotate and I'm gonna select my fixture. Press the plus button and select it. Now I'm gonna to go to the movement tab and by default, it uses the circle pattern. You could also choose patterns like, you know, figure eight, leaf, square, and you get the idea. We're just gonna choose circle for now. So that's our functions. We're gonna have a chaser, an effect, and also three scenes. And we're gonna tie these all to Lumia. So next up, now that we created our functions, let's go to virtual console. Now virtual console is where we're gonna set up our buttons that Lumia is gonna be triggering. So I'm gonna create a button here. You'll see this button type. I'm going to move it right here, make it a little bigger, and I'm going to double click it. And I'm just going to call this button red because this is the function that we want to trigger. Just add a function. It doesn't have to be named red. That's just the label. Uh, so I'm going to add my red function here, which is just a scene. And now it gets to the external input. I'm going to press choose and I'm going to choose generic MIDI. Now the notes start from 129. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the notes here. So let's say red, we want it to be D minus one. If you wanted to, you can also set up a key bind as well, but we're just setting up MIDI inputs. Now what on button press is, is we have toggle function on and off. This means anytime this is triggered, it's gonna stay on until it has a signal to turn off again. So no matter what the velocity is, if you trigger this button, it's gonna turn on and then it's gonna turn off. But if you wanted to trigger it, you know, through velocity to have it always be the state that you want it in, then you'll wanna use like a flash function and you'll send velocity, you know, above zero. If you wanna turn it on, then the velocity is zero to turn it off. And it's also, you know, a function like toggle blackout and stop all functions. We're gonna make a stop all functions button as well so that our default state can always trigger it. But for now, we're just gonna use toggle function on and off. So I have my red. I'm gonna create three more by just pressing control C and then control V. So red, green, 
I'm going to choose my function and make sure you change your input channel. You don't want all these buttons triggering at the same time, unless you do. Maybe you want to rotate the trigger at the same time as, you know, the RGB chaser. I'm going to use E minus one for green. And I'm also going to add my chaser and effect. Now for my chaser and effect, I want this to be triggered with one key press. So I'm going to do them both to F minus one. And now we're done. We're going to create one more button just called turn off, which is going to set everything back into its default state. We're not going to use any functions. We're just going to use stop all functions down here. And we're going to change this MIDI note and that's going to be our C minus one. And there we go. Before we move on to Lumia though, let's make sure we test this out. Press the play button up here whenever you need to actually test something. This is your operate mode. So if I trigger red and I can even have my rotate on. And if I want to stop everything, I'll just press off. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that in operate mode because if that's not in operate mode, Lumia won't be able to trigger these. So let's go back over to Lumia stream and set these up. So we're going to create a few different chat commands. We're going to go to commands, chat, add command, and then you'll go to your name. I'm going to call this one MIDI red since I already have a red command, but I could have edited my red command if I needed to. I'm going to change the type to color and the value to red. Now, this does not have to actually change your smart lights. You can do no light change if you don't want your smart lights to change, but I want my smart light to change at the same time as my MIDI device. So I'm going to use a color for my smart lights and just choose a red color. The duration four seconds is fine, but you can change that if you need to. Next up is our MIDI tab. Go to our MIDI tab and let's choose our port. You'll see our loop MIDI port show up and the note to send to. Now, I already forgot which I used for red. I think it was D minus one. Now I'm going to go to QLC plus just to make sure I'm going to turn off operate mode, double click this and I see D minus one. So I'm going to use D minus one here and add MIDI. One quick note though, is if you, you know, needed to set these up automatically, if you didn't want to go back and forth. So if I press auto detect and I send over a new command, you'll see it auto trigger it says 143 D0. This is an easy way to bind your buttons from Lumia to QLC plus. I'm going to go back to D minus one, press auto detect and press add MIDI. But before I press apply, let's also reset this button. We're going to turn this button off. So we're going to select our end state. We're going to select the port. I'm going to select note to send, which is D minus one again. And then I'm going to just select my velocity to zero. This is, you don't have to do this since this is just a toggle button, but if we want to change this to a flash button in the future, we want to have that velocity at zero. So I'm going to add MIDI there as well and press apply. And now if I test this out, you should see my lights turn red as well as my MIDI device turn red. You didn't see my MIDI device turn red because I didn't press the play button. Now my MIDI device turned red. And you've seen QLC plus go off as well. Now I was going to do four more of these just to tie our remaining buttons or actually five more. I'm going to just press copy. Let's edit this MIDI green. And then for my MIDI RGB rotate command, I'm going to choose a reaction. And I'm just going to do the RGB just so it literally matches what Lumia is going through. And I noticed the issue in QLC plus I didn't choose the right input channels should have been G minus one for RGB and rotate. And now I'm just going to have an off command that turns everything off. So I'm going to turn my lights off as well as my MIDI off. Boom. There we go. We have our six commands, MIDI off, RGB rotate, MIDI blue, MIDI green, MIDI red. You could test these all out. Red, green, blue, rotate. 
and turn everything off. Now, of course, you can also tie these to Twitch points, Twitch extensions, alerts. Uh, you could even tie it to a hotkey that you wanna you know, bind to in Lumia by going to input control and binding those commands to your hotkey and so on and so forth. That's our basics to MIDI and DMX. There are so many uses you can use them for. You even have examples of people playing games with DMX as well as, you know, using big light bars that just shine your whole room up using these bright DMX lights that are normally used for concerts. <laughs> we have a lot of DJs using Lumia and we implore you to, you know, try it out and see what you can do with your performance as well, or just with your stream to spice it up a lot. If you have any questions that are about the basics of QLC Plus, Loop Media, or Lumia stream, ask them in the comments below and someone will hopefully be with you. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and have a luminous day.